touching meeting today between two men who now share an unbreakable bond. One, a 95-year-old concentration camp survivor. The other, a 94-year-old soldier who liberated that camp during World War II. Today they met in Hollywood, and Local 10's Andrea Brody was there. Like I found another brother. A pair leaning on one another again. After 70 years, Julius Eisenstein and Pat Santangelo reunite. Two men linked by horror, bonded by triumph. You gave up your life. You knew you're not going to live through it. And here, a miracle occurs. I never thought I'd ever meet anybody, you know, all these years that was there right where I was. On April 29, 1945, this is where fate would place both men, the Dachau concentration camp. Julius was one of 30,000 starving and, in his mind, a day from death. You gave up, period. You gave up. Life did not mean anything to you anymore. Pat was a member of the 45th Infantry. He'd endured his own suffering, 400 days marching through France on the front line. Still, he wasn't prepared for what he'd see as one of the first to witness the evidence of the Holocaust. How could this be, you say? How could this be? All these people dead, nobody picking them up. How the hell could they live? It's impossible, you know? Somewhere among the men who to Pat appeared more like zombies was Julius. His mother, father, and sisters had all been murdered, but his brother was with him to watch the first Americans roll in. I cannot figure out until today how we picked up the jeep in the air with the soldiers. It was incomprehensible. We were weak. We were starved. And yet that jeep was picked up in the air with the soldiers. To meet a gentleman like him, for me, he's a lifesaver. Andrea Brody, Local 10 News. Pat, the American soldier, has never been involved in any kind of veteran activities, but he says now that he's been reunited with Julius, they now plan on touring local schools together.